Good evening, Rabotai. We were up to now, we did the, the splitting of the middle of Matzah, Yahas. Now we're up to, uh, we did, we're going to skip Magid for now. We're going to go to Rahtza Motzi Matzah. Rahtza is washing of the hands. Even if somebody, you set up Rahtza by accident before Karpas, he can dirty his hand and say the Rahtza of Anatil Adadayim again by eating of the Matzah. Then we're going to do Motzi Matzah. The Quran said, Sahim Kufchaf says that even though Maror today is only the Rabbanan because we don't have Koran Pesach, but nonetheless, Matzah is still Mitzvah Daoraita, it's still Mitzvah from the Torah, to fulfill eating it on the night of Pesach. For us, outside of Israel, both the nights of Pesach, first two days of Yom Tov, the Mitzvah from the Torah to eat a Kazait of Masa. Now, how much is a Kazait? Shukhan Ruch says, like Tosafot, Tosafot says it's a, well, it's a half of an egg, which is a 28 grams. According to Rambam, it's 18 grams, a third of an egg. Nonetheless, we have to follow like, to the opinion to Tosafot that we have to eat 28 grams of masa. This, technically, from the letter of the law, is in volume. Someone who is difficult for him to eat 28 grams in weight, he can do. He can go and calculate in volume. If you do water displacement, you take a cup, fill it with water till it's 28 grams, put a line on the cup, then remove to, remove the water and put in the item that you want to weigh the volume. You want to see the volume, crush it up, and fill it to the line in the cup, and that'll be 28 grams in volume. But if a person uh, can fulfill the custom, the custom is to do it by weight. That way, when you eat weight, the, according to the weight, you're for sure eating the volume. So therefore, the woman hug is to weigh the matzah before, to gauge, to see how much maror you need, how much matzah you need before the holiday. If a person has mechanical scale, he can do it on the hog itself. But a person has to weigh it in order he should know how much the how much the matzah looks as a kazayit, how much the maror looks like for a kazayit. That way he knows what to give each person. It was funny, I heard somebody said, Rabbi, how many bites of matzah do you have to eat to make a kazayit? It doesn't go by bites, it goes by the size, the weight. You have to go and weigh it before so you know what it looks like. You can't just guess at the seder how much to eat, you have to know, it's a mitzvah da'oraita. So therefore a person has to make sure to do this mitzvah properly. The Gemara of Sechem Tzachim Dafmem says also that the matzah has to be shmura matzah. What's shmura matzah? So a little bit of the debate in the poskim. The Rashi says that it has to be made for the sake of the mitzvah of matzah. So therefore they have to have in mind when they make it, it's for the sake of the mitzvah. When you have machine matzah, there's a little bit of a debate if machine matzah can be considered made lishma. How do you make the matzah? The machine makes the matzah. You press the button and it makes it. Does the machine have in mind lishma? It's very hard to say. Some opinions say it doesn't have in mind to say lishma. Even if you say I have in mind when I press the button to start the machine, that's not when you made it, it's going to be made later. So therefore some opinions say it doesn't count. So better to have handmade matzah for the seder night. That way it's shmura matzah, meaning lishma. It was made for the mitzvah according to all opinions. And also the Rambam says shmura matzah means that it was guarded from the time that you cut it, you cut the wheat, it was guarded that it should not become hametz, it didn't mix with water. So therefore, a person has to make sure that his shmura matzah says it was guarded not to contaminate, become hametz, all the way from the time when it was reaping. That's how Shulchan Aruch learns. The Rambam, in the fifth chapter of Chod, Hametz Matzah, he writes that really all seven days of Pesach you have to eat shmura matzah. But his opinion is a chumrah from the letter of the law, you don't have to eat shmura matzah all seven days. But for sure, the said there, you should have matzah that was made for the sake of the mitzvah, and you have to have a handmade one, and, a, and it was a matzah that was guarded from the shat tzirah, that was guarded from the time of when they cut the wheat. This is a important, important details that a person has to pay attention to when it comes to matzah. Now, there's a nice story with the Rebbe Yitzchak Mibradich of Allah Shalom, where he was the day before Pesach, he got his students together, and he says, I have a request from all of you. And he asked, yes, Rabbi, how can we help you? He says, I want you to go bring me tobacco from Turkey, I want you to bring me silk from Austria, and I want you to bring me hamis. So they said, okay, we're gonna try. So they went to get the tobacco, and they couldn't, they couldn't find, they spoke to a guy, spoke to a guy, a guy who knows a guy, they went inside his house, under the floorboards, they found that they, he was hiding tobacco over there, he sent to the rabbi. They went to another guy who knows a guy, behind the shkaf, inside the wall, he took out the silk from Austria. And they brought it to the rabbi, he said, very good, so you brought the tobacco, you brought the, the silk, where's the hamis? He said, Rabbi, this we couldn't find. A day before Pesach, nobody has hametz. Who has hametz? So he said, now we can go and come pray to, on Pesach. He said, what are you doing, Rabbi? He says, now I can pray to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Russia made it forbidden to smuggle tobacco from Turkey. Russia made it forbidden to smuggle silk from Austria. And what? It's illegal. They'll put you in jail. And we still found it. People still have it in the community. But hametz, what Hashem said thousands and thousands of years ago, when he wrote in the Torah, before he created the world, Hashem said at one time, 
Don't eat hametz at Pesach. Look, nobody has hametz in their house. How powerful is the words of Hashem? And we should be zocheh to be able to have our house. No hametz in the house. Baruch Hashem. Amen.